What's going on guys, Sir Grayson here bringing you another Nintendo News Tuesday. So, let's get into it. First thing we'll be covering this week is some console sales. It was recently reported that the Switch has sold over 10 million units in 9 months. Very impressive figure. And the 3DS has managed to cross the 20 million unit threshold. Uh, very nice milestone there. Uh, milestones there for Nintendo. Uh, we will actually be covering uh, their sales a little bit better um in, in on this thursday i'm going to be doing a bit a video cheap plug a video about um uh the overall console sales who kind of won this gen how how everybody did uh nintendo versus sony versus xbox so look forward to that video uh coming out on thursday um <clears throat> Now, moving on from that, you can also now pre-order Bayonetta Special Edition for $69.99, which comes with the newly ported Bayonetta 1 and 2, a free poster, stickers, a steel case, and a versus card. So I guess if Bayonetta is your thing and you like collecting Bayonetta stuff, the pre-order is good stuff for you. Now, uh, that is in the UK. I'm not sure if that is available for Americans or not, but that is you. the UK is definitely able to uh, pre-order that now. So I'd hop on that. If you're in the UK and you're a big Bayonetta fan, I'd definitely hop onto that. In development news, we have Soul Calibur 6, as some fans might know, is scheduled to release in 2018, but not for the Switch. However, in an interview with Metro, the game's producer, uh, Motohiri Okuba, Okubo, <laughs> hopefully I didn't mess that up too badly, said, is there any, is, said, uh, it was asked if there was any chance of a of a Switch version, uh, so we could have Link on the game again. Um, <clears throat> and he stated, Soul Calibur VI has been uh, in development for more than three years, and nobody knew anything about the Switch back then, which makes sense. So, as a matter of fact, we are not working on the Switch as of now. But, of course, personally, I'm interested in the platform, so if the Unreal Engine can adapt the Switch and evolve itself then maybe. So if you're a Soul Calibur fan and want a Switch copy for on the go, uh, don't feel completely out of luck yet. Um, in other news, Pokemon Crystal is scheduled to release January 26th of next year on the 3DS store. This version of the game, according to Nintendo's game page, will include a chance to catch Celebi post-game. It will include Wi-Fi battles and trading. Uh, but not only that, this game will also be connected to your Pokemon bank. So you can transfer Celebi and any other Pokemon you may want over to your copy of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Very exciting. And another piece of kind of weird Nintendo news, Build-A-Bear Workshop has recently announced a new licensing deal with Nintendo, which allows people to make their own custom Mario, Bowser, or Yoshi Bear. Additionally, any bear you do make can be dressed in a variety of other Mario-themed costumes, such as Princess Peach's uh, dress, Luigi, Mario in a hoodie, and I gotta say, this is kind of brilliant. If I had a kid who liked Nintendo, I'd probably make my first ever trip to build a bear for this, so that's, that's uh, this is a smart idea, I guess. So, now we'll go over to another cool release coming out in the near future, which is Dragon Quest Builders coming to the Switch. If you're not familiar with Dragon Quest, this is a Dragon Ball Z-style game with art done by Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball. Uh, this particular installment of the game is a lot like Minecraft in the sense that you go around, harvest materials, and build things with said materials, but you get to do it in the world of Dragon Quest. So if you're a fan of Minecraft and or Dragon Quest, this should be right up your alley. And last but not least is the confirmation of a new Zelda title being in the works. But that's pretty much all we know. In an interview for Breath of the Wild Masterbook, Zelda creator uh, E.G. Aonuma, I'm not so good with the Japanese names, reveal that work on the next title is in progress. But that's about all we know for now. In an IGN interview, director uh, Hidimaro uh, Fujibayashi stated that I can't say more at this point if it will be a sequel or... Uh, in, in, in continuations or from what it will take, but I definitely have lots of ideas and lots of motivations right now. Uh, and while this isn't much to go on, I <laughs> included it today because it excites me. I am extremely happy that the Switch might, might get a second Zelda game. This console is doing so well for itself, and it's so good to see Nintendo as a company doing well again. That is it for today's video. 
What was your favorite story from this week? Something covered in the video, something that got missed. Let me know in the comments down below in the description. If you, there will be some links. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys again next Tuesday. I built this castle